Hi, Christopher Pogue here once again uh, with Anarchy Movie Reviews. Uh, this time, I'm not going to review a movie. I'm going to review a show, uh, Game of Thrones, HBO show. I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, okay, so a little warning. This review is going to uh, contain some spoilers, uh, but I'm not going to give everything away. Uh, all right. So, first of all, uh, medieval period pieces, uh, they're not really my thing. Honestly, it's uh, stuff with mystical magic, you know, uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff, uh, you know, I don't really go for. But uh, I've been hearing a lot about this show for years. Uh, obviously, it's a very popular show. Uh, a lot of people watch it. I made the mistake of, of telling people at work that I watched the show and and, uh, man, they were all over me. You know, they were coming up to me all the time saying, Hey, you know, have you gotten to the Red Wedding yet? Have you, have you gotten to the Red Wood Witch squirting out a, a, a smoke monster out of her pussy and killing Renly? You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I thought I was a nerd, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, apparently this, uh, this show is some kind of uh, nerdvana oasis. Uh, I mean, yeah, and those things uh, I usually do go for honestly. So uh, a few years ago, I decided to uh, check the show out. And, you know, I, I tried it about three times. Uh, I, I just couldn't get into it. I mean, I mean it's a little over dialogued. Uh, there's, there's a lot of characters. Uh, you know, it's, it's got a complex medieval storyline. You know, like I said, not really my thing. Uh, but I finally kind of powered through it. And, uh, and I finally got what the big deal is. Uh, it's, this is a show with excellent storytelling. Uh, it has pretty much everything you want in a show or or movie. It has spectacular battle scenes, uh, hot sex, nudity, uh, has surprises. Uh, it's a story about legacy, family, power moves, uh, honor and morality, loyalty and betrayal, everything. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of characters in this, but it's mostly about. Uh, the feud between these two families, the, the Starks and the Lannisters. Uh, the Starks, they're a noble family uh, who served the king, Robert Baratheon, uh, who's married into the Lannister family. Uh, he's married to Cersei Lannister. Uh, Ned, the Stark patriarch, uh, he's an old friend of the king, right? They grew up together. But a uh, rift is created when uh, Ned receives some false information uh, about the king, and when uh, Ned's son, uh, Brandon, he, he catches the king's wife uh, having sex with her own brother. Uh, this, this is where it really gets interesting because, I mean, it turns out that the king's, uh, you know, the king's kids aren't really his. Uh, they are the products of incest. Uh, so when the king dies, his uh, so-called son, Joffrey, uh, takes the throne, but Stark says he has uh, no, you know, no rightful claim to it, uh, n knowing about uh, the false paternity. So, uh, so Joffrey has Stark killed, uh, even though uh, Joffrey, he's engaged to, to Stark's daughter, Sansa. So uh, that starts the whole war, and... Uh, that's that's basically what the whole series is is uh, the, this war between these two families. So there's uh, there's other groups involved. There's uh, uh, Dionysius, I think her name is. She's uh, uh, Dionysius Targaryen. She though she was the Mad King's daughter. Uh, apparently there was a there was a Mad King who was a bad guy uh, that. Uh, Robert Baratheon uh, stole the throne from and uh, Jaime Lannister uh, killed. Uh, and there's the Dothraki, the, the White Walkers, the Wildlings, the Baratheon brothers, uh, the, and the Freys. They're all, all these uh, power-hungry players about, uh, but it's, it's mostly about the, the two uh, rival families, the, the Starks and the Lannisters. Um, but you know, like I said, it's there's all these uh, there's all these players involved, and uh, it, the show's called Game of Thrones for a reason. Everybody's you know kind of vying for for power of some sort. And uh, I mean, the Lannisters they're fun to watch. 
uh, because uh, they're just kind of so evil. Yeah, they the yeah they're kind of they're fun to hate, kind of thing. Uh, except Tyrion Lannister, he's played by uh, a, a great actor named Peter Dinklage. Uh, he's easily the best character on the show. Uh, he's kind of born to a bad family. Uh, I mean, he's a he's a dwarf, and you know he's the only dwarf in his family. So uh, you know, so his father always treated him like shit because of it, and he's you know, and he's he's resentful of his family because of that, and he so he tries to keep them in line and uh, and do the right thing and, and, and kind of make up for their misdeeds. He's like the, uh, he's the white sheep uh, of the family. They're, they're a family of black sheep. I'll, I'll accept him really. Um, and he has the funniest dialogue on the show too. Like he has, uh, he had this one line uh, saying, why, why are the gods such cunts? Where are the, where are the gods of wine and, and tits? You know, I, I've often wondered the same thing. And, the show is full of great surprises too. Uh, you know, the the Battle of the Bastards is probably one of the the best things I've ever seen on television. I mean, it's a whole episode of uh, just, just a long battle, and uh, the red the red wedding was devastatingly uh, shocking. Uh, I mean, I don't want to give too much away on that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I will, all I will say is this, I hope they got their deposit back after that shit. Um, the, and so the final season is coming April 14th, right, this year. And what I'd like to see happen, and I think is very possible, is that uh, Jon Snow or Tyrion become king. Uh, especially like to see Tyrion become king. And I hope uh, uh, Jon and... Uh, Dionysius uh, continue their relationship. Um, yeah, God, I hope I'm saying her name right. <laughs> um, maybe, uh, I mean, maybe the romance is not appropriate uh, because, I mean, it turns out they're related. But, uh, you know, I'm just hoping, I mean, this will probably happen anyway, but I'm hoping, like, they don't turn against each other and, and fight for the throne. Um, I'd like to see I like to see Jamie kill Cersei, honestly. That's the only that's the only way he's gonna redeem himself in my book, honestly. Uh yeah, I mean he, okay, he let Tyrion out of jail. I mean, that that was something, but I mean he's he did he did throw a ten year old kid out a window. I mean that's that uh, yeah, I'm he's still a bad guy in my book. Uh okay, so there's the uh the White Walker dragon. I hope oh that doesn't uh Kill too many people. That uh, that made me nervous. Definitely, uh, the White Walkers turning Denisius' dragon into one of theirs. Um, and uh, honestly, I I think uh, the truce between the Starks and the Lannisters is not going to last. Uh, I think the Starks are going to have to finish the Lannisters, and, and that that's a uh, that's a long time coming. They yeah, they that needs to happen. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, I, my name is Christopher Pogue, and uh, I hope you keep watching. All right, uh, see you next time. Bye.